right, sometimes you overthink things, and it's funny because regular potato pillars I tried beveling with and it didn't work. Then I got my favorite potato peeler and I tried it and I found something awesome. But before I had discovered that, I used this one. And I'm sure you've seen me use this before. Um, it's awesome. But I still often press too hard and end up with a very uneven bevel, which I'm not happy about. And so I kind of gave up on beveling. So then, yeah, I looked at this and realized I can bevel soaps evenly and cleanly with this and the perfect. Um, not nearly as hard as the uh, fancy beveler that I bought. It wasn't expensive. I'm not going to say it was expensive. I think it was maybe 20, 20 odd dollars. It wasn't very much. I didn't even do corners, guys. And it looks nice. And there's not a lot of floss. Um, and it also looks really, really nice. So these are some Christmas gifts that I'm getting ready for handouts to people that I, you know, just see. Um, friends, strangers, something nice that I can, can share. And these are my end pieces, yes. And they're soaps that I've cut up so that I can use them this way. Um, but they're going to be awesome. I think they're going to make an awesome little bit. I managed to stamp a few. <laughs> so I'm having fun with this. I'm also going to be making some of my guest soaps over with gingerbread men. That'll be fun. Um, we live in a city in crisis right now, a city that has so much and it's so easy just to share our bounty with others. It's really not hard. And uh, these will be nice in cards with some money, maybe, and a kind word. Um, you never know how you can affect someone else. Pretty awesome. Oopsie, if we push too hard, if you keep a light touch, it's really nice. It's really, really nice, and I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. I'm okay with this. So, for my artisan bars, they will be beveled. <laughs> I take it back. I take it all back. My, my rustic bars, of course, will be rough cut because that's the whole part of that brand. Um, and that's what was requested from my customers. But, um, as far as my art bars, I can finish them off now evenly and not make them look worse. And that was my biggest problem with beveling is I had so very little control with that, or at least I didn't know how to use it properly. But this front ended potato peeler that I don't put very much force on at all is perfect. See how fast that is? And it just takes off the tiniest bit. My biggest concern was that I was wasting soap. But rather than bevel, in the past I would run my hand over it. If you don't want to bevel your soap, you can smooth off that hard edge while your soap is soft and fix it too. It doesn't have to have that hard edge. You see that disappear? So even my rough cut bars have a somewhat smooth edge. It's easy enough to do. Here, let's make this one. Posh. This is for someone very special. Let's do this one too. And I could rebatch these, but I don't want to. I want to share them because they're wonderful. And uh, and I have it. It's done. It's ready. It's here to give. Nice, huh? Nice edge. I like this one. That one pretty. Ah, <sighs> so much fun here. 
tried to stamp that one, but I smashed them because of the layers. <laughs> Sometimes when I rebatch soap, it's dried. Oh, this one's already done. It's just a cute little soap stamp that was given to me for free from my favorite soap stamp maker on Etsy, who is brilliant, by the way. And one more, and then I gotta tuck those noisy little kids in bed. <laughs> that cute little voice you hear in the background's gotta go to bed. Just gotta go, let's go. Tomorrow. All right, there we go. Very cute, small little stack. I'll put these in the bags and put a beautiful label on them and make them pretty pretty even more so it'll be super fun see you next time bye for now